Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Performing and Visual Arts, SOPVA, Certificate Postgraduate Certificate Programs, Certificate in Performing Arts Bharat Natyam, CP Bean, OVA 001 Indian Culture Heritage, Block 1 Introduction to Indian Culture, Unit 3 Religion, Society and Culture. And Culture 3.1 Introduction Defining Society and Culture Of the two towers, Society and Culture, Culture is the most difficult word to define. If a man is not regarded as conscious and regarded as an object of consciousness, it would be easy to distinguish Mr. X from Mr. Y. In other words, if man is perceived as an item, them as person, then the distinctions become easy. Shall we similarly seek to identify cultures by their geographical boundaries, underlining the role of Hindu religion in the formation India as a nation? Radha Kumud Mukherjee argued, the name Bharatvarsh is thus not a mere geographical expression like the term India. It signifies the complete accomplishment of the work initiated by the Aryan forefathers colonizing the whole country and bringing its different parts under the unifying discipline of a common culture and civilization, Bharatvarsh is thus another name for Aryanized and Hinduist India. 3.2 Perspectives on Culture In contrast to this unified view is the evolutionary perspective which underlines the synthetic and synthetic processes inherent in a multicultural situation. The complex history of the subcontinent experienced the coming together of a variety of cultural streaming drawn from different civilizational traditions. All communities, Hindu, Muslim, Christian or Parsi, experienced the influence of this multiple cultural interaction. Tarachand, an advocate of the synthetic character of Indian culture observed, the Indian culture embraces in its orbit beliefs, customs, rights, institutions, arts, religions and philosophies belonging to strata of society in various stages of development. The complexity of Indian life is ancient because from the dawn of history, India has been a melting place of conflicting civilizations. As a matter of fact, the process of its cultural development may be envisaged as the blending of intellectual, aristocratic, folk and foreign influences 3.3 cultural plurality the cultural plurality is intelligible only in the context of relationship between religion and culture which are interrelated but not synonymous in any society dot there is no uniform religious culture in terms of hindu muslim or christian but there is an uniformly shared culture throughout india the different castes follow different patterns of rituals and customs. This is also true form of art, almost. Each caste has different art forms, music, dance, theatre and so on. In fact, the plurality is also an expression of resistance against any kind of domination and exploitation. The forces of history which shaped the society did not transform into an ideal cultural melting point. The interaction of people with diverse cultural moorings and traditions influenced the society also. 3.4 Evolution of Culture Modern anthropologists, archaeologists and historians consider the birth of civilization as a technological and organizational achievement. The ancient myths of humankind remember the dawn of civilization as a fall of humankind from simplicity. Increasing greed of man put him into the need of food production. Hot chase of the pot belly began. Man moved from the order of the ritual to the order of machine and super highway. Myth of the fall of man is not memory, but one of speculative imagination. The idea of progress also arose as a myth in the 18th century point long before the rise of archaeology as a science. In the Indian social tradition, these values were partially accepted. Nagra or urban came to be accepted as sophisticated in contrast to Gramya or rustic while 
सभ्या और कोर्टली केम टू मेन वेलब्रिड एंड पॉलिश्ड सियर्स एंड प्रॉफिट्स ऑफ ऑल एजेस एंड इंडियन हिस्ट्री प्रेफर्ड रूरल सराउंडिंग्स एंड डिसअप्रूव्ड मटेरियलिस्टिक सिविलाइजेशन 3.5 पॉइंट फाइव आर्ट एंड कल्चर अकॉर्डिंग टू एंशियंट इंडियन ट्रेडिशन दी आर्टिस्ट और सी पेन स्कल्प्टर इज द इंटरमीडियरी हु ट्रांसमिटेड द रेवल्यूशन ऑफ विश्वकर्मा दी आर्टिफिसर डिवाइन स्कल्प्टर टू सोसाइटी दी आर्ट और शिल्पा इंक्लूडेड रिचुअल स्किल क्राफ्ट एंड इमेजिनेशन सिल्पिन वॉज अ मेंबर ऑफ एन आर्टिसन कास्ट अ गिल्ड और अ कोर्ट एंड द ग्रुप्स वर एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द लार्जर सोशल ऑर्डर द रिलेशन्स बिटवीन द सिल्पिन द पैटर्न और यजमाना एंड सोसाइटी वर सैक्रिफिशियल फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द वेदिक सैक्रिफिशियल ऑल्टर और वेदी विद इन अ सीरीज ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रिक मैजिक सर्कल्स वॉज द एक्टिविटी द बिल्डिंग ऑफ द ऑल्टर वॉज अ सिम्बॉलिक रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द डिसमेंबर्ड कॉस्मिक मैन फ्रॉम हूज लिम्स द डिविजन्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी स्प्रैंग द ऑल्टर वॉज अ थ्रोन टू बी ऑक्युपाइड बाय द इंडिविजुअल गॉड्स टू होम द सैक्रिफाइस वॉज अड्रेस्ड द राइट यूनिटेडा द ह्यूमन डोमेन ऑफ होल सोसाइटी विथ the divine inside the sacred dimension of a tabernacle a tent or sanctuary the patron commissioning a temple shrine palace or city was the sacrificer who selected a priest as his sacrificer the priest assumed the role of architect and the overseer of silpin hierarchy the maker of the building the surveyor the sculptor the plasterer and the painter The artist's role was to restore the unity of society which is lost culture in its broadest sense is a search for meanings and values it refers to the common orientation of a group of creative appreciative persons towards the formation or discovery of such values this orientation can take the form of religion philosophy art political or social system and so on 3.6 religion and culture intellectual climate of india between 6th 8th and 3 rd centuries bc was characterized by rise of buddhism schools of metaphysics and ascetic sects the new urban man felt increasingly alienated from nature social discipline created an anxiety resulting in nonconformism there was withdrawal into the forest to recover the sense of identity upanishads were composed renunciation became a virtue caves served the needs of monks and laymen in search of ideal environment to practice meditation brahmanic religion reasserted itself by the end of the century ad the cave sanctuary of buddhism resulted in chaityas while that of the brahmanic religion produced the hindu temple now that the temple was constructed of slabs of stone sculpture itself had to be modified to fit the new scheme religious devotion different from monastic meditation demanded imposing structures and focused the attention of worshipper on a complicated mythology the tower of the temple combined the expression of both religious and temporal power it became the emblem of a dominant ruling power of the king as well as the symbol of contact with god established by the king 3.7 media and culture art in all its form storytelling dance chanting image making is a social activity which balances tensions within the collective dot plurality as an expression of resistance has ensured the stability of our society on the principle of coexistence of social inequalities tensions arising out of progressive division of labor intercaste rivalry inequality in hierarchical status and disputes over property have been healed by the unifying function of art for example village india is very active during seasonal festivals dot any festival with its oracles trance dances and collective rapture is a restorer of collective unity all indian cultural media ultimately derive from social culture brahmans have enjoyed a ritual monopoly in the sanskrit medium while potters weavers and basket makers have been vernacular cultural performers 
drama and religious festivals at great temples were mixed media and drew from with classical and popular traditions. Popular intercaste media emphasized devotional religiosity which included bhajans, recitals or dance dramas from epics and puranas, Ram Leela and folk dances on the festival days, 3.8 cultural synthesis, human species was given the name Homo sapiens. In course of time the same, human species was designated Homo faber, man, the maker. There is another label called Homo ludens which means man as player, play to be understood as a cultural phenomenon. The play element is found in language, law, war, art, poetry and philosophy. The play demands application, knowledge, skill and strength. The more difficult the game, the greater the tension in the beholders. The primary thing in a competition is a desire to excel others and not a desire for power or will to dominate. To dare, to take risks, to bear uncertainty and to endure tension are the essence of play spirit. We want to be honoured for our virtues. In order to excel, one must prove one's excellence. In order to merit recognition, merit must be made manifest. Competition serves to give proof of superiority about Indian culture there are two diametrically opposite views. One is the segmented view of culture in terms of religion. I a Hindu view of culture, a Muslim view of culture or a Christian view of culture etc. or in terms of religion, I Bengali, Assamij or Tarni culture and so on. The second view is that Indian culture is composite. Gurudev Tagore highlighted India's culture as a living organism thus, the Aryan, the non-Aryan, the Dravidran, the Hans, the Pathans and the Mughals. They all have merged here into one body. We argue that culture is a do process while civilization is conduct. We have also thought that our culture can remain pure even if our conduct suffers degradation. The need to establish the interrelationship between the two is important. For a log period, science has not been viewed as part of a culture. Even though science and OSC culture are after all products of the creative expression of human minds, OSC role to neutralize the negative elements of a market economy. A sense of dignity and sense of self-confidence of among people is necessary to have control over lives as well as environment. There will be neither sustainable economic growth nor social progress and durable peace if they are not in tune with our cultural heritage. 3.9 Cultural Diversity and Its Expression The world has moved into the next millennium. Fears are expressed about the future of creative diversity and the plural character of culture. The change is being witnessed through media resolution, post-industrial technologies and global communication networks. Number of scholars are talking about the clash of civilizations and the end of history. Hegemony of every kind, political, economic and cultural are anticipated. People world over are looking to India to see whether, with its 5,000 years of uninterrupted civilization, India can provide answers for social harmony and respect for creative diversity. India's great heritage have inspired Indians as well as others who came to be associated with India is a country of over billions people, 18 languages, 1700 dialects, 4 main castes, thousands of subcastes and five main religions. This cultural diversity is accompanied by immense biological diversity also. India is one of the twelve identified mega biodiversity centers of the world. Among the finest expressions of India's culture, the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, the Vedas and the Upanishads are rooted in the family, the villages, religious practices and agricultural modes of production. Indian arts are crafts AR illustrious expressions of Indian religions and spiritual experiences. 
the renewal that has taken place found expression in Sufism. Vaisnavism and writing of Kabir, Nanak, Namdev and other Bhakti saints. The cultural renaissances of the 19th and 20th centuries are also deeply rooted within Indian social and cultural traditions. Poet Iqbal in his Sare Jaha Se Achha claims that there is something that does not allow the Indian continuum to perish. Let us hope that Indian art, life and thought shall find new expressions in the 2 PT century 3.10 summary Culture is an integral part of our lives. It gives a certain identity to a human being. Times, in this unit we have tried to define the meaning and role of culture in our lives. Despite of having all types of diversities, culture teaches us to be unite. As Jawahar, Lal Nehru expressed it in these words, unity in diversity. Unity of heart and mind inspires to work together. This experience is the Re One Life Foundation of Indian culture. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel for more updates and we will see you with the next chapter.